Hello, this is Keith with Math and Games. Today we're going to be playing Panzer Blitz. We're going to be doing situation number 10. I'm going to be restarting. The reason I'm restarting is I made a mistake. The Russians are not supposed to enter board three until the Germans do. So the, the situation is this. You have the Russians coming from the south. And their end goal is to end at the end of turn 12 to have, to have a certain number as main of its units possible on third board three, which is the center of the board. The Germans are coming in from the north. They have to make it through. The Russians have some anti-tank guns that they have to make it through. And the Germans' goal is to destroy Russian units. Well, the mistake I made was I had the Russians enter board three immediately. And that gave the Russians a chance to get all the good defensive positions. However, if you if the Russians have to wait to enter board three, then it becomes more of a free-for-all and a lot more interesting because you're both they're both riding across the plane looking to shoot each other from long distance. There's none of this hiding. So it makes things a lot better. Now, this is my replay. I've changed some things up. Before I had the tanks, my weaker tanks go first, and I have my infantry and my half tracks go last. Now I'm putting my infantry my infantry in my half tracks first. They're gonna be like hunter killer teams. They're gonna go out and to destroy these anti-tank guns before the tanks move up. So we're gonna see how that works. So I'm gonna restart the game. Now make sure turn track is on turn one. It's 12 turn game. Remember the Russians goal is to have as many units as possible on the center of the board. The more units have, the greater the victory level. And the German units goal is to just destroy Russian units. So I'm going to start with this half track right here. One, two, three and a half now right here one of the half tracks is going to break off four five six seven the important thing to notice here is that i want to get at least two infantry against each german uh russian gun so i have at least a chance of destroying it all right, so second half track. If I can get three to one odds, that's even better, actually. One, two, two and a half, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's going to give me three to one odds against this right here. And then I have. 9, 10. And I can send this half track. 9, 10. 8. Hmm. 9. 10. I'm just going to send it around the side there. So I have 3 to 1 odds against that first gun. So hopefully it eliminates it now. Let's see if I can get somebody to that second gun. 1. Actually, I should be slowing these guys down some because they're considered to be coming off, you know, off the board lined up. So, one before they even enter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they have to stop there. And there's two of them, so I would be over stacking if I went there. So I'm just going to leave them right there. All right. Now for the tanks. Tanks can move eight. So one and a half, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And now that would be two and a half, three, four, five, six, seven. And now the tanks come at tanks that are coming after that. See where I place those anti-tank guns. That's a lot more deadly because it slows the Germans down quite a bit. But then again, there are 12 turns and the Russians can't enter the center of the board until the Germans get there anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so right here we have a three to one. But also remember that the Germans get points for destroying Russian units. So we're gonna have a three to one minus one. And I rolled, let's take a look. I've got a one, so that destroys these two units. So neither of those make a wreck. So I can put those into the graveyard, so to speak. I click the graveyard, and that's it. So now we're going to go to the Russian turn. What do the Russians do? Well, the Rus all the Russians can do is move these anti-tank guns around a little bit. But they're not going to do that, so we're going to go on to turn two. And if the Russians had fire, the Russians don't have any targets to fire at. So, Okay, next. Now... Do I want to do hopscotch and neutralize this Russian unit? Yes. So I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to do this. Boom. Boom. Like that. So I took care of the first anti-tank gun. I'm going down the road. I'm going to take care of the second anti-tank gun. So it's going to be a 2 to 1 minus 1. So at the very least, I'm going to be able to disable this and make it safe to move around. Oh, actually, I had the third one over there. 1, 2. Actually, you know what? I can do this. Meanwhile, the first team is going to load up. And these guys are going to just keep leapfrogging, taking out these Russian gun positions. Okay. Now I move the rest of my units. One, two, three. Let me start right here, right? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these guys can be twelve. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I do not want to go on top of that. Oh, hill because, well, yeah, I can go there because none of the Russian guns are going to have my sight to me. Just want to make sure they all can go ten. Yes, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four. 
four, five, six. And I'm gonna move these guys just up like that. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're going to go like that. Okay, so that's my movement phase. Now I'm going to clear moved. Oops. I'll just take the results of it. So 5 minus 1. All right. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Two to one five, that's the dispersal. Yep. Okay. All right. I just took that. I didn't mean to roll that, but I took it because I was gonna have to roll on any die anyway, so it's done is done. All right, so that's it for the German phase. Yep. Now the Soviet phase. Soviets once again don't have any fire, but they're slowing down the Germans. So Soviets lose dispersal over here. Now it's the German phase. So we're going on to turn three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. And what do we get there? We get eight. Okay, so some of those can move eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the tank can move two more forward because it has 10 movement points. Well, move into the woods. Why not? Down there. All right, who else can move right here? Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to move them too far because of the Russian guns. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Meanwhile, they, these guys right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, unload. See, that's just going to be a one to one attack. I'd like to see if I can get at least one more of the teams up. One, one, and a half. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get another team up there. So I'll just see if I can send one around. Get the next group. All right, one, one and a half, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, one and a half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, shoot. Eight, nine, ten. Huh. Okay, I could. I am going to get two to one odds. Well, at two to one odds is not the end of the world. All right, it's almost a set dispersal. How about these units over here? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. These have ten, or a couple with eight, and a ten. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Last one, two, three, four, five. Six. I'm just going to keep it right here for now. All right. So now we have the close assaults. Over here, we'll have three to one, minus one. And boom. So those two are two more Russian units that get eliminated. That's the graveyard. Over here, we got two to one, minus one. We get a five, so this is just dispersed. All right, so now I'm thinking if I'm the Russians, I'm thinking of maybe pulling back. No, I think it's too late to pull back. Maybe too late to pull back. This guy can try and get out of there. So he just um, he can just blow it up and that's it. Yeah, definitely get him out of there. It's gonna load. This guy right here is not gonna load up. He's gonna stay in place and try to cause havoc. And that's it for the rush for the German turn. Now we're gonna go on to the German turn four. So all these guys were in attack phase. I don't have anybody that wasn't in attack mode there. These guys. These guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, one to one attack with them. Which I'm gonna do. Well, first, do I have fire? Do I have enough attack by fire, so to speak? Let's see. Oh, no, not from them. Not from them. Actually, don't think I have any armor that has a line of sight to them, unfortunately. No, I don't. Okay, so let's continue with moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, this half track right here. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, and unload. So at least I'll be able to do a one-to-one -one attack on that one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those guys, I don't care. They're not, those guys don't add much. Because they're just two half tracks in a truck, or one half track in a truck. Okay, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The half track could have did too, because half track, those slow point hexes only cost three, so I can move there. Uh, how about this vehicle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five, six, seven and a half. That's risky. I gotta make sure I I'll he'll be dispersed anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, three and a half, four and a half, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right there. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. Are these all ten? Yes. One, two, two and a half, five and a half, eight and a half, nine. And let's put on this is guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Meanwhile, these guys are going to load into their half threats. One. Two, three. So we start right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop right there. All right. So that's it for the Soviets. I'm going to, over here, it's going to be a one-to-one -one minus one. And that will be, the, that will disperse this weapon. And over here, it's going to be two-to-one. I didn't remove the dispersal from last time. So. But it's going to be two-to-one mi minus one. So they are going to be dispersed. Yeah, they're just going to be dispersed. So that's it for the... German turn. Now we have the Soviet turn. Soviets can move these guns. I want to get these guns out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Unfortunately, those units may be toast. Okay, that's it so far. So we have moving them right along. We're going to do turn five. This is going quickly because the Soviets cannot enter board three until the Russians, I mean, the Germans can enter board three until the Soviets do. Of course, the the Russians lose dispersal at the end of their turn. Now I know why they made 12 hexes. I mean 12 turns. Okay, German turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. So if I'm the German player, I'm going to set up my units the way I want to set them up. Just like the Russians had a chance to set their units the way they want their units to set up. And then it's just going to be a mad dash and scramble. Okay. Right here. Where are we at? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. 
I'm of these guys. I'm just gonna stay there. Can I bring any more infantry against these guys? Against those guys? Yes, I do have rifle units. Let's bring them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unload. Here we go. In here, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one and a half. Four and a half, seven and a half. Eight, nine, seven and a half. Eight and a half. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Okay, so that's the German movement phase. So over here we have a one to one, one rifle squad against an armor, anti armor gun, and uh... <coughs> oh, the anti armor guns defend that. Mm. See, what do the anti-armor guns defend at? Do they defend his infantry or his armor? Because if they defend at armor, then that makes them five. Well, either way, I got the half track, so right here, five is going to be one to one. Pause it. Okay, I forgot. I was worried that be A because of armor. But I forgot in close assault, you're not halved at all. The the ratios in close assault aren't halved. So I don't believe. Let me check. Okay. So over here it's one to one odds. One to one minus one. I don't believe I did a dice roll yet. It's quite a while. So I'll roll. So go all the way down. We got five. So five minus one, one to one. So that is not. This is big. That has not been even disrupted. However, over here I have three to one minus one. I get a five. Bad rolls. And that's just a dispersal. Hmm. That makes things a little bit interesting. Okay. So that's it for the German phase. Russian phase. Russian, not much they can do. Well, Russians can fire. Hmm. And they can do, might be able to do a lot of damage here, actually. So that's going to be... So they're all going to be treated as unarmored. So if this unit fires at them, it's going to be a one-to-one -one attack. However, if this unit fires at them, it's going to be less. So they're going to fire a one-to-one -one attack right there. One-to-one -one straight up is a three. These are all dispersed. Doesn't really do much for them, but. And the Russians. Russia, Russia, Russia. Four. Five. How much does it cost? Four, five, six. I mean. 
and then it's five to leave. So that'll be 11. And this guy right here, I'm gonna park him right here in this town. And he's gonna unload. All right, that's it for the Russian phase. I'm just gonna undisperse the dispersed Russians. Okay, so we're gonna go on to turn six. Wow, this is moving quickly. Turn six. Let's see. One, two, three, three and a half, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've really got to get that dispersed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope that I can disperse that because if I can't, they might be able to destroy Rare Wreck on a Swamp Road hex, and then I'd be in trouble. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although they are in a town, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are the oh shoot. Where's my infantry? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six seven unload I have got to get that anti-tank gun eliminated okay one two three four five six seven eight yep there we go I got three to one odds now okay one two three, three and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven, eight, nine. Stop there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those guys are going to have to keep up the pressure on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And stop right there. Okay, so now the Germans close assault. So we got two, three to one close assaults. I'm going to do the, this one, which is the key one. So two more you, oh, <laughs> two more Russian units to the graveyard. I did not want to do that. Oh, okay, I'm going to bring it back. One moment. Okay, I'm back. I accidentally deleted my units, but they were in the graveyard and they're resurrected. Okay, right here. Three to one, minus one. Eliminated. So this that actually gives now, that's because... Germans need to destroy 15 Russian units, or 20, or 40, depending on the victory level. And because of this, destroying all these anti tank guns, they've already destroyed a bunch of units. Eight, eight units, so they only have to destroy seven more Russian units. 
but to get a tactical no to get marginal they need to destroy let's take a look at the situation here so they're gonna have to have to destroy seven germans are going to, have to destroy seven russian units to get a marginal 13 Russian units to get tactical, and 33 Russian units to get decisive. Okay, there we go. And that is it. So now we're going to go on to the Russian phase. So this guy is going to try to escape. Good luck to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's it for turn six. We're going on to turn seven. We'll, well, next time we're going to go on to turn seven. The game is now half over, and the Russians haven't even moved their main body yet. Because again, that's what the rule says. The rule says that the Russians cannot enter board three until the Germans enter board three. If the Germans take their time setting up, then so be it. But the thing is, the, the Ger Germans eventually do have to enter board three in order to get any type of type of victory at all. Because in order to get even a marginal victory, the Germans have to destroy 15 Russian units. And the Russians start with only 10 units on board one. So even if the Germans would destroy all 10, all five trucks and all five anti-tank units, or all six trucks and six anti-tank units, guns, they still wouldn't have enough for a decisive victory. I gotta make sure, I, didn't, I got one, two, yeah, all six trucks and all six anti-tank guns. Okay, so we're actually going into turn seven. So we're halfway through the thing. So at the very end, there's going to be a mad dash to control board three. And it's going to get very, things are going to get very interesting. I'm going to clear a move. I'm going to remove the dispersal. And we are done. And we'll see you for the next couple.